Hey guys, it's John with Real Blue Custom Rods and welcome to the last edition on the truth about SAM SFX Versa Thread. Um, as you, uh, you know, witnessed the last eight videos of this series, um, were all focused on, you know, the eight colors that come in the kit. Um, and so this last or ninth video that I'm doing um, is what I wanted to do is throw these colors together um, and then put some finish on them to see how um, they react with the finish. Um, so we can kind of see how they absorb it. Um, do they release bubbles? Um, and what does it look like? Um, and that being said, I'm going to use um, some Flex Coat um, light formula. Uh, that I've been mixing up here and I'm going to go ahead and start to apply that to this um, to these threads and we're going to see uh, what this is going to come out and look like uh, and then we'll you know come back and see what it looks like um, once it's dry so I just have it here on a piece of wooden dowel um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get some finish on my brush and I'm going to manually Apply this. Just like that. And it may take one or two coats, um, but I wanted to see what this would look like um, with some finish on it and how it would react. Um, because I do know, we were very curious about this one right here that I just did with the gold, blue, uh, and purple speck in there, that black one, or that darker color one, uh, because of the material and how thick it was. But all I'm doing is I'm just manually applying this here, spinning the dowel with my hand. I'm not going across the thread this way. Uh, I have the finish on the brush, and I'm just rotating um, to kind of uh, rotating the, the blank here, the dowel, to kind of go with the grain of the thread. So I'll come back here, get a little bit of mo little bit more of this, finish again, start turning, and then we'll see uh, how this comes out. All right, and we'll get a little bit more. Go the opposite direction just because of my hand I'm using here for a second. All right. Okay. And then now what I'll do is just kind of move this around. And now what I want to do is I just want to clean this up a little bit. That means I'm just going to rotate it and try to take some of this excess finish off a little bit. All right. And then that's kind of what it looks like so far. Uh, and let me know what you guys think, but really quick, what we're going to do next is we're going to hit this with a little bit of heat. And I'm just using my alcohol torch a little bit. Just add a little heat, take some of those bubbles out. Just make sure we don't have any bubbles. And I'll just keep rotating that with my hand. Cap my alcohol torch. And then what we'll do, um, as you can tell, just because of some of the thread and, and how I applied it, but I got a couple of nicks in there. Um, that I'm going to, you can see, like I'm going to have to come in here 
right there. I'll have to come in here and nick those down a little bit. Uh, but this is definitely going to have to take a second coat. Um, so what we'll do is we're just going to go ahead and put this on the dryer. Um, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, guys. So um, the first coat of finish has gone ahead and dried. And as you can see, as I rotate um, this dowel, you can see that there are some nicks where the uh, you know thread poked up just a little bit uh, and that or that finish might have bubbled up a little bit so what i'm going to do um, is i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to go through and clean up all of these nicks And I like just going through here with a razor blade, finding wherever I may have some nick or some uh, bubbles that popped up um, that I might not have got out with my alcohol torch, or if it's just parts from the thread, um, you know, which is always very normal. Um, you know, sometimes your thread releases bubbles a little later after you think you've gotten them all out. But as I come through here, and I knock all those little spots back with my razor blade. And um, of note, this black one right here, um, that's the, really the three part thread. It was a thicker diameter thread, to be honest. I almost kind of come off like a, a size D thread, but I think that's because how it was wove together. Um, because it was thicker, I was wondering if it would take um, more finish to cover that portion or that specific uh, part of this wrap here. So again, just going through there, looking for any of those nicks or spots or bubbles and taking those down. Then I always just kind of come in here with a piece of tape and I just get those excess pieces off. All right. And then the next thing I want to do, uh, again, is we're going to apply a second coat of the finish. And again, I'm using a thin, um, thin finish from Flex Coat. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this by hand. And then we're just trying to do another coat. Because I want to make sure we have a, a really good coating on this thread um, for comparison, if you will. And I'm just going to rotate that as I apply the finish, rotate the dowel. Making sure I get a good coating on here. All right, come back this way. All right. And we'll go with a little bit more here. And again, I just keep rotating it as I'm applying the finish. And then we'll do a little bit more and then I'm going to kind of come back and smooth this out a little bit. I'm just making sure I got, I have a good coating of the finish over my entire wrap for a second go. All right. And I just kind of come back and move my thread across my wrap. I do this all the time. Kind of, this is how my technique I use for applying finish. I just try to smooth it out back, you know, from left to right, right to left. And I can also come in, like I did a little earlier, take some of that excess finish off.
And then by taking some of that excess finish off, I'm, you know, trying to reduce the opportunity or the potential for it pulling when I put some heat on it and it wanting to kind of pull up into one area. All right, so that's what our finish looks like for the second coat with that stuff. Um, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that with a little bit of heat from my alcohol torch. And I'm doing just a little heat, just making sure I'm removing any bubbles. All right, I keep spinning that around. And then I will put this back on the dryer so we can let that second coat dry. Um, and this is probably the last coat that I'll put on it just for this instructional uh, video. But we can see what two coats of finish um, look like on here. Um, and I really do like the colors um, that this thread provides. And you know, if I had to pick some favorites, so we'll get this put back on the dryer, um, let this dry, and then we'll come back and take one last look at it and um, kind of discuss our colors that we have here and what we think. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. So here is the finished product, two coats um, of Flex Coat Thin build on here. Um, and this is what our threads look like. And I think they come, they actually turn out really great. Um, so I have a favorite. Um, I hope you have a favorite. Uh, but I think my favorite is the black one here, the black thread um, with the gold, blue, and purple metallic flake um, that's in there. I think that is probably my favorite. Of course, I always like green and red and gold. Those look good as well. Um, but I think my favorite um, is the black uh, with the uh, metallic flake in it. I think my second runner up uh, is the, I'll call this kind of a teal with the brown or the, or the metallic orange or copper color in there. And then, uh, you know, I think my second runner up would be kind of ironically, weirdly, would be this silver and black one here. Um, and so those are the ones that I like. Let me know in the comments below um, which ones you guys like. Do you like the green and gold, the red and gold, the black with the flake like I do, the silver and black or silver and gray, the brown and gold, the teal and copper, kind of the uh, Mardi Gras type color here, um, or this kind of uh, fruit loopy green blue um or excuse me blue gold and uh purple color here this last one that we did so let me know what you guys think down in the comments block which one you prefer um as always feel free to share uh any work that you guys do with this thread uh, you know you can send me an email or make a comment below share a picture down in uh down in the comments block down below and i'm always excited to take a look and see what you guys are doing um as a reminder if you're interested in purchasing this thread um, down in the description, there are some links to where you can buy this thread on Amazon. Um, it's a great way to support the channel. I do get a very small, and I mean a very small portion of each sale. Um, but again, uh, I hope you guys find value in the video. Make sure you hit the like button and watch this next video here. Until next time, guys, take care.